Tonight top European Union stories from the Unit UK include Exporters alarmed over EU agreement German panel proposes tighter controls on EU migrant benefit abuse European Union announces a 2.5 billion euro financial package for Latin America EU hits three countries with fishing sanctions plus Kellogg's boss says EU exit could hurt Manchester. It's Friday, 4th of April. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, the hot story from our website, theunituk.com. Exporters alarmed over EU agreement. Continuing with our focus on Africa, yet more news with this article in relation to Ghana. Exporters have expressed apprehension over a threat to their business if government fails to endorse the European Union's economic partnership agreements. According to them, if government was unable to sign the agreements, exports from Ghana would likely attract higher tariffs and render them non-competitive in the market as compared to their counterparts from Asiatic countries. German panel poses tighter controls on EU migrant benefit abuse. A government panel has recommended that Germany screen job seekers from other European Union states for welfare tourists and people not qualified for employment and then expel benefit fraudsters and block their return for a fixed period. Economic growth and low unemployment make Germany a magnet for EU citizens taking advantage of free mo movement in the bloc and industry is short of workers. But there are also fears of an influx of Romanians and Bulgarians fleeing poverty since these countries gained full access to the EU jobs market this year. With some German cities complaining their health services and welfare workers are already unable to cope with the number of unemployed Eastern Europeans. EU announces a 2.5 billion euro financial package for Latin America. European Development Commissioner Andres Peibles is set to announce new EU support of 2.5 billion euros for Latin America for the years 2014 to 2020. This includes funding for regional programmes and for the bilateral envelopes to eligible countries. The new financial package, which is part of the Development Cooperation Instrument, will be discussed on Monday at the Euro Social Conference in Brussels. The European Commission said in a press release, decision makers and high level representatives from the EU and Latin America will come together to discuss future cooperation between the two regions. Ahead of the event, Pygol said this aid package marks a new step in the way we work with Latin America and sends a very strong signal of our commitment to continuing to support the region's development efforts. EU hits three countries with fishing sanctions. The European Union will no longer import any fish caught by vessels from Cambodia, Belize and Guinea, accusing their governments of failing to cooperate in fighting illegal fishing. The sanctions approved Monday by EU fisheries ministers mark the first time the 28-nation EU has imposed such a punishment. They mean the EU will not import any fish products caught by boats or ships from the three countries and EU vessels will not be allowed in those countries' waters. Yes, folks, that does mean that the UK will be unable to import fish from these countries too. <music> Kellogg's boss says EU exit could hurt Manchester. Uncertainty over Britain's European Union membership is one of the biggest risks to Manchester's global competitiveness. That was the message delivered by the UK boss of cereal giant Kellogg's as he addressed business leaders in the city. Jonathan Myers, pictured, also gave his backing to the HS2 rail project and said it was vital the North West grabbed a growing share of infrastructure spending in the years to come. Speaking at the Greater Manchester Business Conference, Mr Myers, who heads Kellogg's UK and EU operations from its Trafford base, also reiterated calls for firms to do their bit to tackle food poverty. On the issue of the EU membership, Myers said, Like many companies, the success of business is linked to Europe. 
One in five of the million or so boxes of cereal we make here every single day goes for export to Europe. Of the 600 people we employ, more than one in eight are from other parts of the EU and much of the regulation we follow, from food safety to labelling, is agreed at an EU level. Today in our video library, a very successful Table Talk live show yesterday, and as we review... Re and as we reviewed and discussed the Europe debate between Nigel Farage and Nick Clegg, the show is now available in our video library along with the show notes. Now, do remember to visit our website, theunituk.com, for all the very latest news. You can find our page on Facebook by searching for The Unit UK, all one word. Join our community on Google+, Plus, where you can interact with us, voice your opinions and post comments about our stories and even get involved in the shows. For all the latest tweets as they happen, then follow us on Twitter, at The E Unit. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're taking a short break from the nightly news for reformatting, review and recreation. The show will return after Easter on April the 22nd. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for The Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>